So we're going to talk about how um, we are looking for inverses and we're going to do this algebraically. Um, but we need to talk about compositions first and then, uh, like I told you in the previous video, I will, we will do it graphically. But I want to show you that, you know, composition is f of g of x, you know, you put in that g of x function and then what you get out is x when you do that composition. And it, it looks really creepy um, when it's written like this because it's hard to understand. But all that means is when you compose, all right, you put in the g for f of x, um, uh, you put in the g for every x um, in f of x, uh, then you come out with x, you know, when all the math is done. I'm going to show you this, this uh, example here, if I can get it to pop up a little bit higher. Um, this says, show, show that it works for both. Um, I, I don't know if I've ever run into a situation where you can do the composition and, and come, out for X, come out with X uh, and then the other composition doesn't work. I'm sure, it's, I guess it's possible, anything's possible. But if you test one, I, I'm going to say you're almost guaranteed that it's going to work for the other. You want to you do more math, you go ahead. But Soko gets lazy after a while. All right, here we go. Um, so we have 6 over x minus 4, and we have 6 over x plus 4. They look a lot, they look pretty similar. They look like they could be inverses of one another. So let's go ahead and input that uh, for x. We're going to input 6 over x plus 4, and then we have 6. We put in this for x, and we subtract 4. Well, what we have left over is 6 over 6 divided by x. And if we want to get rid of this fraction, we could multiply by x um, and put it up here and cross it out here. And then we have 1 and x. Or we just see that 6 divided by 6 is 1. Um, uh, and then we have, we have our x. Um, dividing by a fraction is multiplying by its reciprocal, by the way. And that's why that works really well. Anyway, um, uh, it works in, in the converse as well. So I want to go ahead and take a look at these uh, examples down here, and hopefully I'll have enough room to do some math on it. I guess I'll do it in the margin. Yeah, let's see if I can do it in the margin over here. Um, let's just go ahead and look at this. We said we're going to replace x with 6 minus x over 3. So we're going to say um, these are our two functions. And we're going to say f of 6 minus x over 3, right? And then we're going to show it as uh, x, oh, sorry, whoopsie, 18 minus 3 at a 3, ha, 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 times 6 minus x over 3, and then we can do the math, right? And that's, that's what this equals. Um, we'll do our distribution, 18 minus 18, negative 3 times negative uh, x over 3 is positive 3x over 3, which boils down to 1x. 18 minus 18 is 0, we end up with x. So this is indeed algebraically an inverse. Um, we can do the same thing with that. Uh, it, it actually does turn out to be uh, an inverse. But that's it. You just do the composition. If we come out with just x, then it is uh, an inverse. They are inverse functions of each other. Now, uh, the next piece. We're going to take a look at graphs and how to show the inverse by taking points on the graph and redrawing the graph. All right. Thanks so much.